Punk. Good morning everybody and welcome to our online tutorial series. Today we are going to take you through patching on jeans, chinos, anything really. So please, as always, sit back, relax and do grab that cuppa. So as always, we'll just go through our materials before we start. So as you can see, there's two holes in these jeans um, and we thought we would show you two different patch combinations. So the, the one at the top, just underneath the pocket, we're going to use a denim patch. Um, and the one Ellie's pointing to on the knee, we're going to put a nice pop of colour in there for you and two different types of stitching. So we've got the top thread, uh, which is slightly thicker, that we're going to use with the polka dot fabric to make, again, to make a feature. And then what we've done for the denim patch, we've matched the cotton to the jeans so that it blends in completely and makes it more hidden. So we're going to start by doing the denim patch. And Ellie's going to pop it inside the jeans, directly underneath the hole. And then just to keep it in place, we're going to pin. Pinning just means that it's going to keep the two fabrics together without puckering or gathering them. So she's going to use her matched cotton this time and we're going to use it double. Again, we've got quite a big needle, so we're not going to have any problems threading. So as you can see, Ellie's got the two ends together and she's threading both of those through the needle. So. again the knot and she'll just show you the amount of strands that she's got going through the needle a moment so that's two strands and we call that double thread so that just gives it that bit more strength Okay, so now we're going to start with the hole. Get in a comfortable position. Um, that varies for everybody. Whichever is most comfortable for you and easiest to get at the hole. And now she's going to start by doing some very small running stitches. through both layers of denim.
Now she'll go across the complete hole, covering it in small stitches until all parts of the denim are secure. And this it really is a very simple stitch. It's literally in, across a little way, and then back out from the inside of the jeans. And this will hold the frayed edges of the hole down and keep the patch in place. And as you can see, the cotton is blending extremely well so you wouldn't actually notice the cotton or the stitches. Okay, so that is now the edge of the hole really secured down on the patch. So what we will do now is just go along with our snips and just tidy up all the frayed edging. But of course, you can leave it if you prefer that vintage look. Um, and that will just tidy away. Just being careful not to catch the stitches that you've made. Now Ellie will finish off in a minute.
Great, so lovely neat knot. And now what we're gonna do is just trim away that excess denim inside, but without going too close to the stitching. Lovely. Now, if we turn that the right way around, that's a really nice, subtle patch from the inside covering that hole that was there. So now we're going to move on to our decorative patch. Um, now, it's in quite an awkward place because it's in the knee area. So you really have to sort of find your best way um, of being able to hold that to stitch it. We would normally gather the trousers from the bottom up in one hand, allowing us to stitch over the hole. So Ellie's going to pin that patch in place now. And as you can see, that is a really lovely pop of colour. Um, we're not going to trim away any frayed edges on this hole um, because we want to make it quite a feature. Once again, just pinning in place to keep it secure just makes it so much easier for, for you when you're stitching. So now that the patch is pinned in place, um, Ellie's going to knot her thread. This obviously is going to be made quite a feature hole. So with this one, we're not stitching that close to the edge of the hole we're going to come away a little bit from it and just do a running stitch all the way around the edge of the hole and leave leave it as it is then so that it sort of pops out as you're walking so off you go early with your starting place So as you can see, the knot is going on the inside of the leg so that that actually won't be seen. And now she's just starting off with a small, neat, single stitch going all the way around the edge of the hole, but the stitch will be seen as well. So um, it will be a real visible with her. And the thing with this type of repair is we don't want it too structured because we want it to look um, quite boho and rough around the edges, I suppose you would call it, but just to make it blend in. 
and look like it's been repaired. There we go, and that's looking really cool actually. So that is going to give you that real blast of colour when you're walking down the road and also cover that hole. Thank 